Well, it's the holidays, guys. And with the holidays, there's a whole bunch of fun things like Christmas cookies, Christmas music, whether you like it or not, and presents, of course. But another main focus of Christmas is the amazing Christmas movies. And that's why in today's video, I will be building five of the most famous Christmas movies out of Lego. So, let go. Nah, we'll, we'll call him Rudolph. Now for the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer build, I want to do something a little more simple and kind of creator-esque for that Lego theme. My main job with this build was just to build Rudolph because he's the main character of that movie, and throughout this video, my builds will slowly be getting bigger. Now for this, I had this specific leg design, so in order to achieve this, I had to actually build the whole thing upside down. What I mean by that is the studs are actually facing downwards, so when you actually see the top of the model, everything is facing down. Overall, I think this build actually turned out pretty nice. Uh, my favorite part being probably the face, just don't mind the other eyeball. Uh, the little ears and little antlers for Rudolph, I think looks pretty great. And he actually looks pretty close to the actual Rudolph in the movie. And this has always been one of my favorite Christmas movies. So that's why I included it. Now let's go to the Christmas special is actually because the music in it is my favorite Christmas music. I know that sounds kind of funny, but that's the truth. So for this build, uh, there's not much to go off of. You could have either done like the play, I guess, or the ice rink. But what I chose to do was when Charlie Brown gets uh, his little Charlie Brown tree, of course. So this build is more for the minifigures than really the build. But here's the build. It's just one of those small, pretty common trees that lego put out a few years ago uh and i also made a little place for woodstock and snoopy his little dog house of course and for snoopy i decided to just go with um a dog minifigure i know i could have made one brick built but kind of would have been bigger than the actual minifigure kids so i thought the dog works but here's a rundown of all the figures we got of course charlie brown linus lucy Pigpen, one of my favorites, and Peppermint Patty, a whole bunch more from the cast and crew, but for these, I just did basically the main colors they're wearing uh, with a hairpiece that looks somewhat reasonable for them, and then the short legs because they're all kids, and at the end of the day, I just put them all around the tree, and I think it looks pretty nice for a little Christmas vignette. Now, the next movie after Charlie Brown is going to be How the Grinch Stole Christmas. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. Now, How the Grinch Stole Christmas is a classic still today, and actually the one I'll be making a mock of is the 1966 version. I know the Jim Carrey one is beloved by many, but actually as a kid it scared me. The Grinch. So I never really liked that one. And then the new one that came out a few years ago is alright, but it's not as good as the classic in my opinion. So what I'll be trying for this build is to build uh, the Grinch's sleigh that he has the whole sack of presents he stole from all the Who's. So for this design, I originally was going to go off of the Lego Santa Claus sleigh, but then when I looked back at actually the source material, I'm like, oh wow, his is definitely not like that. It's more like one of those old fashioned sleds, if you know what I mean. So I redesigned that. And here is what the base model looks like. I think it looks pretty good. And then with the rest of the red pieces I was using on the red Santa sleigh, I changed that into a big sack for, of course, his sleigh. I think this turned out pretty good. And now we just have to get the Grinch minifigure and, of course, his dog. His dog I just used an ordinary one from a Lego City set. Works pretty fine. And then uh, for the Grinch, I don't have... I guess the correct green color, Green Goblin's face, might work better for this. I saw that in a few other mocks. But I used one of the Crocs from the Chima Lego sets, and I think with the smile, it still works for the Grinch. And overall, I also thought this one turned out pretty good, and it might be my favorite by far, so far. So, now, let's head to probably my second favorite Christmas movie of all time, and that is Elf. Sorry. 
Now for the elf builds, I decided to do actually two because my original plan for it was to make the bye buddy, I hope you find your dad scene. Bye buddy, hope you find your dad. Thanks Mr. Narwhal. But I completely forgot about that when I actually made my second build for it. So I'll start with this one. Now for the narwhal, it was pretty simple. I just stacked a few bricks up and then made a little smiling face with an eyeball because that's basically what he is. And I put him around this nice little ocean build. It's supposed to have little glaciers to look like he's in the Arctic Ocean. And I think it turned out pretty cute. Here's also the buddy minifigure I will be using. This was the closest hat I could use to get his elf hat with the hair sadly you don't really see his hair here but i think the outfit still looks pretty good with his yellow tights and all now though for the second build after the narwhal one we got gimbals now for me this was one of my favorite scenes growing up because it shows him building with legos and that's why i love doing of course so we had to add that in to the build i also put these gray walls just around it to make it feel like Part of the store and then the next thing after the lego table i will be adding just a shelf that looks like it has nice little presents because it's christmas time the last thing that was important for me to add was santa's chair that he greets everyone in because that's one of the funniest scenes in the movie in my opinion okay people tomorrow morning 10 a.m santa's coming to town santa! oh my god santa here i know him now, all that's left to do is just add a little streamer and add Buddy, and then boom, you got Gimbals with Buddy the Elf from the Elf movie. I think this one also turned out pretty great, and now it's time for the build that maybe all of you have been waiting for. That is my Home Alone build. So, let's get into this. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I actually don't own the Home Alone set because it's $350, but I do own Harry Potter's for Privet Drive. Now, obviously, there's a big size difference, so it will just be kind of a part of the McAllister home, but I'll still be trying to add nice traps and all this fun stuff in. Now, the first thing I had to do was actually swap out the roof because the roof on for Privet Drive is this black tiley looking thing, but actually on the McAllister home, it's this white that has these two windows that pop out. So I tried to incorporate that as best as I could. The next thing that I had to do was change out the blue stairs for red stairs, cause in their house, it's actually red, not blue like in Harry Potter. And then the last thing that actually was a pretty big hassle was I had to change all the brick on the outside from this tan slash beige color to a brown because that's what the McAllister home is. After that, I can now finally show you the minifigures. So here's my custom Kevin. I think it looks pretty good. And I even gave him the same hat that the Lego set gave him. And then of course we have the sticky bandits. Uh, both of these guys look pretty good. I used the Qui-Gon Jinn face for uh, this one. Both of these guys look great. Now the best part of this build in my opinion, it's time to add the traps. Now with little room, I could barely do much, but I did add the ice in front of the stairs at the front. Which I also did add that stairs in because that wasn't on the set before. I think this looks good. And then I swapped out the doorknob for a uh, orange one because he burns his hand on that, of course. <laughs> but when I was originally envisioning this, I was like... Well, I have to do one of the big traps, and I couldn't go without doing the paint bucket one, so I did that. I added this Lego rope piece connected to what I made into, in my opinion, what looks like a paint bucket, and it works out perfectly because Kevin can stand at the top of the stairs as he throws down the paint buckets at those sticky bandits. Overall, I think this also looks great, and... If you're trying to make the Home Alone set on a budget, I would say this is a great option for you. It doesn't require that many pieces to swap out. Like if you have brown pieces and white pieces laying around, I think you could do this pretty easily. The only piece that might be tricky to find is that rope piece, but you could brick link that for like a few cents and then you're set. So guys, in the comments below, tell me which one of these was your favorite builds. Mine probably has to be either the Elf one or the Home Alone one since it took me the most time. But guys, remember, have a happy Christmas break if you're on it, and a Merry Christmas, of course. Tell me also in the comments below what you got for Christmas, or if this comes out before Christmas, what you're hoping to get. And as always, guys, 
Remember, have a great day. God bless and peace out. Bye.